Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card again, all about what is going to happen for you with the rest of 2020, what blessings are coming, whether it's love, career, whatever wants to come out with these cards. So we have green number one, two, three and four and we're going to put the crystals on now. Okay, so we have group number one with the amethyst, group number two with the copper ball, group number three with the rough rose quartz and group number four with the Caribbean calcite. So all of these crystals are on my crystal shop. They're really, 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 really effective, especially the copper spheres. They're absolutely amazing for grounding, especially those of you who are really highly sensitive. I highly recommend the copper spheres. They're amazing. I'm thinking about getting some more into my shop. So if you guys really want me to get some more in, then I definitely will. So please choose your group. We have group number one, two, three, and four. So please uh, choose your group and let's get started. So start off a group number one with the amethyst. Hello group number one, welcome back to my channel. So let's get started with your reading. So I have a few oracle cards here, so we're gonna kind of see how we go, if I can kind of fit them into the frame, but if not, then I'll do them separately. So first of all, we have this gorgeous amethyst cluster. I'm obsessed with amethyst, it's one of my faves. So, so good for intuition, really good for your crown, really good for your third eye. Very good for those of you who want to just start a crystal collection. Amethyst is always really highly rated, especially with rose quartz as well. Really beautiful starter crystals, but also they're just so stunning. They're so good for empathic work. Those of you who want to kind of tune into your psychic abilities, really, really good. They're also really good at kind of like just calming the space. So I think that'll be really good for some of you guys. Okay, so let's start off with the main energy. We have the creator, beautiful. Oh, I love this. One of my favorite cards, I think, from this deck. So for you guys, I'm seeing actually this is almost like a brain scan. It's really interesting. It feels like that the mind is kind of filled with creative ideas. You just have to access them. So I feel like for you guys with the creator, there is a lot of kind of rainbow and hearing angelic energy around you. So I do feel like for some of you guys who can actually see auras, I do feel like you have a lot of colors in your aura right now that's really bringing up a lot of this sacral energy. So for those of you who are newly single or you guys are really breaking away from an old pattern of yourself, I feel like part of you is really coming out to play and really coming out to tell you that to manifest all the things you want to manifest and to create this gorgeous creative life. And for the rest of 2020, it's really important for you to be in your creative energy. And the creator is very, it doesn't actually have to do with creativity, it can be, but it can also mean that basically you are creating the life that you really, really want. And it's something that really interests you. It's something that you want and you are creating everything that you want. It's just manifesting that and actually allowing and accessing that part of you that feels worthy of that as well. Because sometimes we can feel not worthy of it. Sometimes we can feel like maybe we don't deserve it. There's just lots of things that are coming at you from all different sides. So you guys might be getting um, ascension symptoms. A lot of us are getting like headaches and tiredness. That's quite normal, especially sore throats. So obviously there is that this uh, the virus and things at the moment. But if you do get a sore throat, don't panic. It's most likely the flu or the cold. But obviously I'm not a doctor, so please check it out if you feel worried. But there is a lot of things like that. But that came through very strongly, especially with asc ascension symptoms. So you may think there's something drastically wrong, but actually it might just be ascension symptoms. But obviously, as I say, guys, I'm not a health practitioner. So please go check it out if you feel like it's something that might be serious. OK, so just be aware of that. OK, so let's see what other cards do you want to go for. Let's go for this one first. Oh, the moth. Beautiful. Massive amount of energy. Wow, I'm getting this really uncomfortable kind of like aching pain around my left ribs and also my heart so I do feel like you guys are really working on your heart chakra I do feel like it's massive amount of energy around this kind of can you see how these black lines are kind of going into the rainbow and then this black line is kind of coming out you guys are definitely releasing a lot of old patterning a lot of toxic energy that you guys do not need anymore and you're really letting go of that you're really releasing that old part of you that doesn't need to strain to stress to to shift things around and force things into a corner. You're just being as you are. You're letting yourself take flight. And I do feel like for some of you guys, you just need to allow your wings to spread. You just need to allow yourself to really go with the ideas that you have and trust the ideas that you have and they're gonna have a ripple effect. I feel like if you just allow yourself to create without any boundaries, that is the most best thing that you can do because you're allowing yourself to be free. And it's not even, an, it is an emotional thing, but it's also, I mean, it is connected to your emotions, but what are you, what are you saying, spirit? What are you saying? 
basically they're saying creativity and emotions are connected so the more you're opening up creatively the more your emotions are moving and therefore the more abundance you're going to create because you're allowing space i do feel like some of you are really coming out of your shell and that can mean various different things it can mean that you guys are becoming more confident with yourself you're allowing yourself to um, open up more to spirituality or just open up more to just another level of higher consciousness it feels really really beautiful beautiful i love this we have patience you guys, it has been a tough road recently, but also not even with the things that are going on around the world internally, we're really going through some really big stuff. So for you guys, just be very patient with this growth, be patient with your transformation. Everyone goes at transformations in different phases. Everyone goes through their spiritual awakening differently as well. Some people go through it suddenly. Some people are already in tune and already intuitive when they're born. Some people never go through their spiritual awakening. Sometimes they just gently kind of glide through where they are spiritual in a way, but they kind of don't really access all the points. You know, everyone has different awareness and that's why we should all obviously treat each other with love and respect and patience. You know, be patient with people who aren't there. Sometimes when we have a spiritual awakening as well, we just want to tell people. You know, for me, I never really had that because I was intuitive from an extremely young age. So for me, it was extremely hard when I was younger because everyone was totally different to me I felt so isolated so for, for you guys it's very much there's an element of making sure that you are bringing in some lovely energies like your tribal energy friends who really support you a family who supports you and don't be afraid to exit family situations if people aren't, aren't good for you guys that family doesn't isn't everything it really isn't especially if people aren't on your wavelength it's no point in being around people who aren't on your wavelength because people who are who are blood related they don't actually mean that they're always family obviously yes blood related yes but on a family level if somebody isn't treating you with respect that's not a family that's an abusive situation you know so obviously i'm spilling the tea here but that's the messages i'm getting very very strong intense but it feels like it needs to be said okay here we go beautiful exactly shedding the old there is a change coming your way cultivate a sense of adventure so you'll be able to see these new aspects beautiful sorry prospects Okay, we then have Star Mother, how can you mother yourself? We also have Inner Temple Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So you guys are definitely learning to listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, listen to that part of you that is kind of getting you to shift, to move, to come out of your comfort zone. There's definitely energy of things moving up, that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm getting a strong sense of foundations changing, but feeling much more stable. And I feel like there's a lot of movement. So I feel like things are going to quicken for you. I feel like the blessings you're going to have is a more open heart. You're able to manifest love quicker. And I do feel like you're able to um, get some tribal energy into your life as well. You're manifesting more of a tribe for yourself. And I do feel like there is an energy of needing to mother yourself. So just be very gentle, very patient with yourself and know that things will change in their own pace. Obviously, I know it can be very difficult sometimes and sometimes it can be extremely annoying and extremely boring because some things can take a bit longer than what they are. But that's OK, guys. You just got to be really kind to yourself. OK, so the next card out we have second guys sorry my camera's doing some weird stuff um so the next card out we have is bliss and grace we have the seventh chakra so i'm going to put this up close to the camera okay so i'm going to read some of these all these affirmations and you guys can choose an affirmation you feel is good for you and if you really relate to these obviously you can use these in your lives okay so we have the grace of a higher power is with me and i move through life knowing this truth I believe in a higher power and I know that it is within and around me offering assistance and guidance. I surrender all my fears and burdens to a higher power. I'm open to receive grace and I trust in a higher power. I am worthy. I seek and find bliss, quietness and moments of bliss in my life and I'm persistent in this quest. So that is obviously not all of them, but I don't want to read all of them. It might take me a while. So if you guys feel the need to read these and really tune into them, then please do. I do feel like it's a definitely an element to you tuning into your crown chakra, really generating that energy. And obviously we do have the amethyst here and that's very much to do with the crown chakra. So really, really beautiful. I absolutely love that. So we're gonna have, get some dice and we're also gonna get some tarot. So let's do that now. All right, let's see what's happening for group number one, rest of 2020. Okay, wow, some deep stuff going on here, guys. We have the eighth house, we have the moon and we have Leo. 
Ooh, there's a lot of heart stuff going on around me right now. I do feel like the Libra moon we recently just had really shifted a lot of stuff. So if you guys are a Libra or you have a Libra moon, I do feel like you guys are going through it. So just be really gentle with yourself. Okay, so obviously we have Leo moon. So for you guys, you may actually have Leo moon. But we have the eighth house, which is all about merging, intimacy. It's all about shared finances. It's um, other people's money and taxes and things like that, joint ventures and goals. It can also be mystery. So you may not actually know what this is until you get it. It may be that I don't pick up on it in this reading and then it suddenly appears because the eighth house is all about mystery. It's ruled by Scorpio. So it's very much about the mysterious energy. So the moon is very much about that deep element of hidden and high strong emotion. So with Leos, Leos are all about devotion. They're loving, they love praise, they love compliments, they love anything to do with being a part of something. So I do feel like for you guys, you're definitely manifesting a group of, of people who are really on your wavelength. You're manifesting a higher energy within yourself, uh, as in you're connecting more to the divine, you're connecting more to your guides, and also you're feeling more things, and maybe on a different level, maybe you are feeling more intimacy, you are connecting more with your intimate energy because of the eighth house. You're able to really connect into that intimacy that you really need, and becoming more intimate with others, and maybe you're becoming intimate with a Leo or a Leo moon as well. Okay, so let's get some tarot. Let's see what wants to come through. Whoa. Okay, so first one is the hermit. You guys definitely need to take a break. I think you may be overworking yourself. So within the rest of 2020, make sure to take a break if you need to. And understand that if you guys are feeling very sensitive, most likely it's because you are actually processing stuff and you may not realize because a lot of the stuff we really don't realize what we are going through, what we are processing, and that is okay. It just means that, you know, it may take a little bit longer to manifest what we want, but at the end of the day, if we are doing the processing, that is all that matters. Definitely a lot of relationship stuff for you guys as well. You're manifesting a relationship as well, which is coming through nicely. So we have these six of pentacles, all about that balance, all about equal give and take. So for you guys, it could be where you are releasing the old. You're manifesting somebody who really speaks their truth and it could be somebody in love. I feel like if you are single, you're manifesting a brand new person, possibly a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. It could also be an Aquarius, I'm hearing as well, uh, or Virgo. But the lovers and the king of cups is all about this person being manifesting in like an emotional way. So there's somebody who's really emotionally invested in you and they're very mature. This is somebody who's who is worth the wait. So I know you guys need to be patient, but essentially all the waiting is worth, it's, it's all worth it, okay? So with this Ace of Swords here, this is kind of you guys needing to listen to yourself. Um, there may be a part of you that doesn't want to listen. There may be a part of you that thinks, okay, I don't want to go off gluten or I need to exercise, I don't want to. Just really listen to yourself and give yourself a break. If you need to exercise, maybe kind of force yourself to do a little bit and see how you feel, because sometimes we do need to give ourselves a bit of a kick out the bum. <laughs> but also the Ace of Swords is showing me you guys are going to get some sort of new work endeavor or new opportunity to expand your horizons in love. So it may be a relationship, could be a friendship, it could be a friend who turns into a, a relationship, that sort of thing. But it could also show that basically you're deepening your relationships, you're deepening your partnerships, your romantic, romantic relationships, you're deepening your work relationships, all of those things. And you're allowing yourself to tune into your intuition and therefore more things are coming in, more blessings are coming in. So lots of different blessings for you guys. I like this. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I have my crystal shop down below as well. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous copper sphere here. Really, really beautiful crystal. One of my absolute faves. I love these. They're really good at helping you stay present. They're really good at getting you grounded into the earth and they're also really good at decluttering your pineal gland. So for those of you who are feeling a little bit overwhelmed or feeling like your thoughts are kind of running away with you, then this is a really good crystal to have. And also putting um, one in each hand is also really good because it really centers you and grounds you. And also putting one on your pineal gland as in like your forehead or like the middle of your eyebrows, really good at just sucking all of that rubbish from the day out of your body and helping you to be in your own energy. So I sell these on my shop. They're really great. I absolutely love them. So let's get started with your reading guys. So let's see what's happening for you guys for the rest of 2020. So we have the riddle. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to pull the rest, the rest of the cards and then we're going to see what this guy's all about because I have, I feel like I have so many messages for that. So let's have a look and see. Okay, so we have elegance. 
We have the cheetah, let's put that one there I think. We then have the, ga the Great Gathering, it's all coming together, Intuitive Hits, Soul Tribe, Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? And then we also have setting up parameters. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, there's so many messages. I'm, I'm like, my brain is like, which one do I want to choose? Okay, so let's start off with the riddle. So I feel like for you guys, this could mean various different things. So I'm going to cover all bases. So the first thing they're telling me is you're reaching for something that isn't there. And what that's telling me is you guys are worrying too much. You are putting your focus on other people and you should be putting your focus on yourself. So the blessings that are coming towards you are things are coming together all in one go. So for you guys, it could be that your money's kind of gone downhill, your relationship, or you're, always, you're being single for a long time, or maybe you want to move house, but you don't know when. Everything is going to come into alignment when it's ready and they're all going to come in all at once. It's going to be very overwhelming, but very amazing. So it's interesting because you have this almost like copper sphere here, which is so interesting. So it's definitely kind of finding the light at the end of the tunnel, finding a piece of you that you may have kind of almost lost or forgotten. Obviously, we never lose. We never essentially lose ourselves. We're always there. Sometimes we can get a little bit confused, but that's OK. We'll always come back to where we need to be. So there's also an element of a love triangle. Some of you guys might be in some sort of love triangle that you're kind of working with right now and they're telling you to step away from it. They're telling you to work on yourself and the number three can be very significant for you guys. Um, I do also feel like it could be a friendship, three friends. We also do have soul tribe here. So it could be three friends or two other friends that you are connecting with who you really connect with. And maybe you don't know who these people are yet, but if you do, then those people could be this could be like just an uh, intuitive message that they're really, really good for you and they're going to help you on your journey. It does feel like an element of the number three is very important. It feels like um, like your soul tribe is three. That's some reason the three is just like defining your soul tribe. That could be like you live at the house number three or, or you all live at the number house three. You know, that could be your house number. It could be something like you're all born on the third of the month, something like that. It could be even be like your... Um, life path numbers number three something like that just obviously take it as it resonates you may be seeing three 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 a lot I do feel like some of you guys you could have a spirit guide that's kind of watching over you and they could be basically they're basically saying don't worry about it they're saying to get grounded that's maybe why you chose the copper sphere they're kind of saying like everything is as it should be you don't need to worry about it you need to just focus on your own energy and I feel like you are the sort of person who sorts other people out you're very intuitive you are very sensitive sorry guys for just hit the microphone you're very sensitive and it's really important for you to be in your own energy and I do feel like especially those who are empathic copper is actually just really really good and, and hematite I'm actually wearing a hematite bracelet with me today hematite is really good for grounding you so I highly recommend that as well I do custom pieces on my shop as well guys obviously I'm not trying to promote myself all the time but honestly I just want to help you guys with crystals that's why I, that's why I do it so so yeah I feel like that could be really good for you as well so if you do want any customized pieces just have a look in my Etsy shop down below. I love making crystals for you guys. It's so freaking fun. <laughs> I mean, crystal jewelry, not actual crystals. Okay, so, but I do love wrapping crystals. That's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so we have the cheetah as well. So essentially things are moving really fast. You could be manifesting an Aries in your life. You could have an Aries in your life who helps you to like kind of quicken things up. You could be the Aries that moves really, really fast and you're needing to kind of like slow down, okay? You're, you may be very elegant. You may be somebody who wants people to see you as very elegant somebody who has all their shit together and it's okay to talk to people about your stuff that's kind of going wrong or in your life or if you're feeling vulnerable or scared it is very important to express that to others if you feel overwhelmed okay so we also have the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe essentially you are being called to step up and lead in your own life you are a, a big message for this group is to really focus on your own energy one of the things that I like to say for myself is I am safe and everything is taken care of that's a really really super good quote as well to use but also there's the Hawaiian quote that says I'm sorry please forgive me thank you and I love you really 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 good um, I used to use that a lot when I was younger as well very very good so it's all coming together intuitive hits you guys are going to get a lot of intuitive hits and they're going to come really 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 quick so you may get overwhelmed about something because it comes in so quick. So just be aware that sometimes you may be going through ascension symptoms. So just be aware of that. But I do feel like the main abundance coming in for you guys is really 
uh, it's like strong amounts of things coming in all together so essentially it may not be until like december or maybe january that you manifest everything all in one go but that's what's kind of happening it's kind of like shum like everything kind of coming together like two puzzle pieces and especially with the it's all coming together essentially you may feel like things are not coming together at all but actually it's the total opposite so we also have number 43, which is setting up parameters. So number seven could also be really um, strong for you at balls. So number 43 or four and three. Assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationship. So essentially, you guys may be in some sort of toxic situation and the universe is telling you to work on that part of you that feels scared about possibly being single, being on your own abandonment. There is nothing wrong with feeling like that, but it's really, really important to service yourself. I'm hearing like you're doing an MOT on yourself, like a like an actual like you know when you take your car in to have a service in the garage essentially you're the you're the car having yourself aimed for a service so check on yourself check on your how you're feeling on your health on your body on your thoughts you know all those things are connected we are all connected so if you're feeling a little bit overrun make sure to have your own time away and also I'm hearing is a very big message if you guys feel like you feel better away from certain people, sometimes they aren't the right people for you, but that's not always true. But obviously just be discerning, guys. Use your own intuition. Okay, so the next card we have out is the Sacral Chakra. Beautiful. Reward myself. Oh, I love this. These have really, really good quotes on them. So I'm going to read all these quotes for you guys. So it says, I know that I am truly worthy and deserve to receive the good things in, in life and I give myself permission to have them. It is time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. Oh, I love this. This is all about sexual energy and also creativity as well. So you guys are actually allowing yourself to have this. And this is all about physical abundance. This could come in the form of a new relationship as well. I aim to incorporate the, and embrace fun and joy in my life. I realize that all work and no play is a recipe for energy flow disruption and exhaustion. I allow myself to experience and receive more pleasure in my life and I'm flexible and open to change. I'm receptive to embracing activities and events that come my way, even those I may have avoided in the past. Also, it's also, give, also, also, it's giving you the permission to say no and to say yes when you need to. You don't have to do everything. If someone gives you an invitation, you don't have to take it, but if you want to, you know, stretch yourself. Maybe, I mean, you won't regret it. Most of the time, things that I've been very nervous for sometimes I regret going but at the end of the day it's not a regret because at the end of the day you you learn something and you learn what you're capable of and what your capacity is to deal with that situation so group number two what's going on with you guys all right so we have cancer we have the north node and we have second house so obviously you guys are group number two so I love that Okay, so the number two, the second house is all about your finances. It's about your money situation. It's also about your income, your daily routines and your values. So essentially, the fact that you have North Node, North Node in Cancer, you may actually have your North Node in Cancer. It's telling you to be, essentially they're saying be more emotional. So this can mean in various different ways. Not to say that you're not being in, in, um, emotional enough. It's basically saying to take friggin' care of yourself. Work on things that are emotional. Don't be scared of your emotions. They are there to help you. They are there to assist you. Sometimes they get a bit confused, but that's normal. You know, we're human. We're okay. We're not, we're not like one straight line. We are friggin' up and down all the time. There is no way to cage us. We are friggin' squidgy beings. So you just gotta be really careful with yourself. So the North Node is very much about, as I say, Cancerian. It's all about where you're going towards. So the North Node is where you're aiming. So the fact that this is in Cancer is showing me you guys may want to work on your health more. You may want to work on your intimate family connections, so people you live with. Um, it may be that you want to move in with somebody in the next few months. It could be that you guys may be sharing a bank account with somebody. You may be starting a bank account. Maybe if you're in your teen years and you haven't got a bank account yet, you may be starting a bank account. You may be buying something new for your house. It could also mean that you guys are getting some sort of communication in work or your daily routines are changing. You're allowing yourself to um, change up your routines more. And sometimes we forget that we can actually have choice and we do have choice and we do we can manifest change in our lives, okay? So let's see what else we have got going on here. I just feel like allowing softness. That's what I'm hearing. Just letting yourself feel softness in your life. And allowing that change to come in yeah brand new start for you guys you're actually allowing yourself now to know that these emotions that you have are sacred and they're worth exploring okay 
I swear I have a card that says that. That sounds really familiar. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands, the artist, beautiful. So you guys might be starting a new creative endeavor. That would make a lot of sense having the Cancer in the second house because you guys might be starting a career that's very creative and it could be that you, you, you really love it and it's something that you, you take care of almost like a little baby. It's something that you're really passionate about. Yeah, I definitely see you guys really working on something. It's like the fruits of your labor and I love, oh wow, I love this. We've got the artist and the well in the same reading. That's quite rare. So for you guys, you're really manifesting some good stuff. You guys are going to get recognition in your work, but it's more about how much you love it and how you feel. I keep, I keep getting how you feel, how you feel. It's like, how do you feel right now? Do you need to take a nap? Do you need some water? Do you need to sleep? All those things. It's like tuning into your north node and also your north node, as I say, is your destiny. It's your life purpose. And obviously our life purpose can change throughout the years. But I do feel like it's important to give yourself the chance to explore something new or at least just allow yourself to be free in your thoughts because at the end of the day, most of the time, the only person who's stopping us is ourselves, which can be a bit of a bummer. <laughs> but, you know, it's really important just to allow yourself creativity. That's what's going to set you free. That's what's going to help you. And I'm going to have a look at the artist here and we're going to see what it means in the book just to clarify what it says. So the artist says... The artist is a vessel of creation. This card signifies mankind and shows when you need to open to the knowledge that is available if you stop and set aside the, distract the distractions of the human condition and listen. So essentially meditation, you may be avoiding meditating, um, that will help you to kind of channel these new um, emotions coming in and help you to just embrace it. And also I'm hearing that one of your grand, I'm hearing grandpa is in spirit. So some of you who have a grandpa in spirit, um, I'm hearing they're watching over you, which is really cute. Um, but also it could be like a great grandpa, somebody, I'm hearing like a male figure, an older male figure is watching over you. So obviously that's a specific message for some of you. So thank you so much for watching guys. Take care of yourselves. Um, if you guys would like a private reading, all my information is down below in the description box under this video. I also have a crystal shop. So if you guys want to check that out, please do. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your support and just generally just supporting me and my channel for watching this video. It helps me a lot. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the Rough Rose Quartz. I am a massive fan of these guys. They are so good for sleeping. I sometimes find these in my bed. <laughs> and I, I sometimes lose them because they're always in my bed with me. I like hold them as I'm sleeping. They're really, really good for that. Really good at calming your mind. So really, really good. I love those. Just a really gentle energy. Absolutely love it. Really good for unconditional love. And just helps you to open up and just accept yourself as you are. Um, could also help you with your digestive system, I'm feeling. Because I'm feeling as I'm touching that, it's affecting something in my gut system. So it may feel like uh, if you guys are stressed out in your stomach, if you're getting bloating, things like that, that may help you as well. Alrighty, so first card that we have is the forest. Okay, this card comes out quite a lot. So the forest I'm seeing is your little safe space. It's how you want to approach the world. So for you guys, it's really important to just be in your own little energy right now and be as you are. So for you guys, you are in incubation period. You could be connecting with the crystal of emerald because we have this gorgeous emerald crystal, but also you're coming out in the darkness. And also I'm hearing the darkness is your best quality. What does that mean? So basically the darker parts of you are your best quality. Essentially the parts of you that you don't like, those are the best parts. And that's, and when you find your match, your friend, like the right friend for you, the right tribe, the right relationship, or you even have that right now, when they accept you for who you are, it really helps you to expand and they're gonna, they love you or they're gonna love you for who you are, not for what you have to bring to the situation. They just want to be around you. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's gonna come into your energy quite soon who really just loves being around you, which is so cute. They're kind of like your little fan girl, a little fan boy <laughs> of your life, which is really sweet. So we have endurance. So for you guys, it's really just allowing yourself to be in a little safe space. I feel like some of you guys might be going camping as well. Kind of reminds me of like a little tent. So we also have the card of the nightingale. Really speaking your truth, you could be singing, writing, you could be just allowing your thoughts to kind of um, be heard. So maybe if you want to share a story, um, write a book, something like that, it may be that you're wanting to share that to the world as well. I love this card. I love this kind of like pink and 
little glass thing. I just love it. It's so pretty. So we have Unbound, Releasing Soul Patterns, Contracts and Past Lives. Wow, I've got massive heart chakra energy from that card. We also have Play, Have Fun, Celebrate, Don't Be So Serious. <laughs> I love that. Okay, and the next card we have out is Mutually Beneficial Adventure, number 31. So you could be connected with number three and number one. There is an extraordinary connection. There we go, at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So essentially, use people around you, not in like a, not actually literally use them <laughs> and in, in a negative way. I just mean like accept help and also just be in other people's energy. You know, if you can't be with them physically, then talk to them on the phone or have a nice little FaceTime or something. It's kind of like just allowing yourself to explore different types of relationships and different types of friendships. Um, and also I feel like as for some of you guys who feel like you are gonna have some sort of connection coming in soon, there is definitely somebody I can feel around me. It might be like a friendship, but it could also be a relationship. It could be a friendship that turns into a relationship. It feels very calm and easy. It doesn't feel like anything that's too stressful at all. For you guys, you may feel like you have to protect yourself and stop yourself from feeling these things because you think oh they're embarrassing no one's gonna understand me I feel like for you guys is actually allowing people to listen and if people aren't listening obviously maybe that that's not the right person to talk to but even if you don't have anyone to talk to maybe it's just journaling your thoughts but also if you need to take a break then definitely do that some of you guys might also be feeling really sensitive to the moon so I do feel like singing and writing and talking is going to really help express those emotions that may be built up and it's funny how we've got the moon and the sun so it's almost like the darker parts of you have kind of been lifted and released as we have releasing soul contracts and past lives. So part of you is now going. And it is funny how I said the darker parts of you because I do feel like that's coming out. And it's almost like the nightingale here is coming out of the dark. It's almost like the more you speak, the more you're clearing the air, which is beautiful. So especially in relationships, it's really important to speak your truth. And even if it's scary and you don't think the person's gonna understand, at the end of the day, if you get out what you need to get out and you've, you know, you've had the most mature conversation you can, that's the best you can do, you know? And it's just really important to express that. Um, also just to have more fun, express yourself in ways that maybe you thought you couldn't. So maybe go to some sort of park that you've never been to or go ride your bike if you haven't done that for a while or, you know, do something kind of different that you may not have really thought of because it's allowing yourself to have choice and that's really, really important, especially for us human beings who get stuck in our little ways, but it's okay because at the end of the day, we're just doing the best we can, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Okay, so the chakra card you got, is the throat chakra that is perfect oh my god i love how synchronistic these readings are today so these are the um affirmations here i'm going to read these out to you so if you guys want to use any of these affirmations they're really good truthfulness i am truthful and honest with myself i aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth and i speak in a loving considerate way my personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who i am Others will be positively uplifted when they hear my truth and I take care not to exaggerate in order to impress them. I love that one. That's a really good one. I'm careful not to let my mind mislead me and in turn others. I avoid gossiping or speaking negatively of others. Also, if you guys are working on your heart chakra, it can bring up a lot of anger. So just be aware that if things get a bit heated, make sure to just kind of divert your energy somewhere else and not directly at somebody because obviously... The less conflict we can have is the best because obviously there is a lot of anger kind of happening around and it's just very important, as I say, to be in your own energy with this card. It's kind of showing just to really be in your own energy and there is something definitely, you know what? What I just got is a really, really strong message and I'm going to burp this clarification, thank you, is basically the new part of you is surfacing now. So basically all the old stuff that you've been releasing, you're really coming into your own energy and somebody is in this new energy because they're going for a spiritual awakening too. And I do feel like you are gonna both mutually benefit from this relationship. It's gonna be so amazing. I can't even explain how amazing it is. It's kind of like it's that easy. I don't even have to explain how amazing it is, it just is. You are just you, they are just them, and it just is so perfect. And it's interesting how we have rose quartz because essentially rose quartz is, is essentially unconditional love. That is what I'm feeling you guys are gonna get from this connection. So let's see what we've got for number, number three. All right, yes, we have the moon, we have the first house and we have Leo. So the first house obviously is about the self. 
It's about you, it's about how you're reacting in your interpersonal relationships, how you are relating to others, how you are being your most independent self. It's also your approach to life, it's the beginning, it's your body, your attitude, your identity, all those things. So I do feel like it's your attitude is changing towards your emotions. You're allowing to express yourself more openly. You guys are allowing yourself to be seen as well and you don't have to push yourself to entertain. And I really am connecting to that card. Let me just grab it here if I can find it. When it said about, I take care not to exaggerate in order to impress them. That I feel like is very Leo in this energy here, Leo moon. So I do feel like you are now becoming this more interconnected human being where you are allowing yourself to open up to new connections that you may not have thought were good for you but now you're it's almost like you're attracted to people who you used to not be attracted to or vice versa like you may not be attracted to the old parts of you or maybe the old parts of other people so say if, if you had like an ex and maybe you're not attracted to that type of person anymore that sort of thing and that's allowing change to come in and the leo is all about fun it's all about expression it's about creativity it's romance it's love it's self-expression so for you guys allowing yourself to just express yourself and you don't have to entertain your relationships if you're in a friendship that you feel like you have to entertain all the time a lot of the time there may be some sort of forcing energy so make sure you're not kind of forcing because leos can be quite forceful in toxic energy they can be very forceful so obviously that's the the negative part of leos um not all leos are like that either so when we have this love that's popping out so we're going to take her because she wants to she wants to come out so let's allow her to come out where is she oh we gone okay she's going to come out at some point oh Oh, the devil. Okay. So we've got the devil first of all. Interesting. So Capricornian energy. That sacral chakra energy I'm feeling. Whoops. Okay. Ten of Wands. Beautiful. We have the Two of Wands. Okay. The Four of Swords. The Sun. The Moon. The Sun and the Moon. That is so cool. Let's get one more. We're going to have the Lovers today. Or we're not having her today. Okay, Eight of Cups. Okay, we're not going to have the lovers today. But I am feeling the lovers is quite important. It's almost like you don't know this relationship is coming. Or this situation it could be a friendship as well. Knight of Pentacles. So for you guys, especially because we got the first house. This is all about, as I say, you. It's the self. It's the identity. So this is about you getting recognised. You're a, but almost allowing yourself to get recognized, your energy is kind of changed. So therefore more people are gonna come into your life that really suit you. And we do have the magician here as well. So it's all about this new energy and allowing yourself to cultivate new situations that are coming in. So I do feel like you are definitely shedding the old things that are outdated, any toxic beliefs about yourself, negativity, things like that. And then there's this new change happening and the sun and the moon is all about those kind of opposites. So for you guys, it's very much about embracing the feminine, the masculine energy and really creating with that. So basically creating loving relationships that are really open, that are really abundant and all also very unconditional. You know, it's kind of like allowing each other to love without any conditions. And with the Eight of Cups in the well, you're going to manifest some new situations through creativity. So the more you allow yourself to be creative, the more newness coming in. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you for being here. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful Caribbean Calcite Tower. I love these. They are so good for relaxing. They are so good for kind of bringing in that really nice oceanic kind of nat natural, natural energy natural don't know if that's a word i said it anyway okay so let's get started with reading i sell these on my shop as well by the way if you guys are interested all the information is down below so first card out we have is the mentor beautiful i love this card one of my face it really reminds me of harry potter i feel like you guys are definitely manifesting a new part of you that's more confident and allowing the kind of wisdom that you have to come out and people are now listening to you more I feel and I feel like it could be more travel coming in I feel like some of you guys may be an air sign as well let's pull some more cards and then we'll have a look a little bit deeper into that okay so we have memory very very deep intuitive hits coming in for this group I feel as well wow crow yep definitely intuitive 
really, really cute. I'm going to put the crow next to the mentor, actually. I feel like it needs to be there. Okay. And then we'll have a look at the shark crows in just a second. We have... Let's do this one first. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Soul family. Calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. And then we also have seeing both sides. Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. Okay, so lots of different energies. I love the synchronicity of the two sharks and then the two whales. I love that. And then we also have the two birds. So you guys are going to be really connected. Oh my God, we have two people and two people. Wow. Oh my God, I love that. So I love the fact we have the number two really accentuated here, which is about duality, balance, relationships, corporate cooperation, cooperation, not cooperation, cooperation. Um, and it just feels very natural. It feels like everything that's going to come into your life abundantly, it feels like it's going to come in very naturally and you don't really have to try. It feels very organic. I love that. I'm hearing like organic words, like things that are organic, like soy and um, just organic. I'm hearing like different like types of milks. <laughs> so random, but like veganism, I'm hearing like oat milk, stuff like that. So things that maybe you haven't tried before, maybe you're starting to try them, maybe your diet is starting to change where maybe you're ascending and becoming a little bit more sensitive. Your body's kind of can't really cope with like the old way of like eating, you know, that sort of thing. I do feel like for those of you, you're definitely finding your tribe and you're definitely finding yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're finding yourself, which is so amazing. It's almost like part of you has been lost for quite a while and now you're suddenly finding yourself. So the rest of 2020 is going to open your eyes to the world, but also the world within you. You know, that's what's going on. The world around us is what's going on within us. So what's happening is you may need to take a step back for a while and to reflect on what's going on. But also if you need to meditate, that will really help embrace this energy. The crow here is all about kind of sitting on gold. It's kind of like allowing the parts of you that are the most beautiful to shine out. And knowing that even though we are all different, it can be very scary sometimes being so different. Maybe if you looked a bit different or maybe if you just don't fit in with your energy with others, you will find your tribe also. But secondly is that allow your differences to come through the differences are beautiful and being organic and natural and being yourself is beautiful and being independent and being your own authentic self is what's going to change the world wow that's a big message i love that so dancing is very important to you i feel it doesn't have to be exactly dancing you may watch dancing on tv maybe like strictly come dancing or dancing with the stars or something like that it could be maybe something you're embarrassed about maybe if you are not typically uh, inclined to dance. Maybe it could be the way you look. Maybe you think, oh, I can't be a dancer, you know, something like that. It could be like maybe your family tells you you can't be a dancer, things like that. Obviously, that is not true. Don't listen to people who are negative and talk down to you. They are just insecure or they want to protect you, you know, all that jazz. But if you do want to be a dancer, then freaking go for it. And if you're passionate about it, go for it. Some of you guys might even want to be um, a pole dancer, like pole fitness, something like that. Um, but also it's essentially you may find your person through what you're really interested in. So say you're really interested in crystals or you're really interested in photography or art or I'm hearing top model trains. <laughs> um, then you're going to manifest somebody who's also very into that. And then you're going to have an equal view. I just see this really gorgeous duality. It's kind of like um, I'm hearing that song from Barbie. I don't know if you've ever seen The Princess and the Pauper, but if you've seen it, um, comment down below because I love that film. I'm hearing the Just Like Me, Just Like You song. I freaking love that film. It's so good. <laughs> I'm 23. So it's kind of like when those Barbie films came out, it was like the peak, you know, it was so good. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I do feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to embrace this change and allow yourself to really open up. I'm seeing like this way it's kind of like both of them are just allowing them to be who they are and it says you don't have to do this alone if you feel like alone just know that things are changing for you you are climbing up you're getting there the mental also i'm feeling is that you you have un, untapped uncharted wisdom so you actually have been on this planet for a long time i feel like for some of you guys you could have been on this planet for like millions and millions of years and you may have seen it all and you may not be phased by anything that's going on right now. You'll be like, yep, that's normal. Yep, cool. Mm -hmm. That's just humanity waking up, all that jazz. Some of you guys might be scared and that's okay. You know, I do feel like some of you guys, you are star seeds or you are um, Palladians, I'm hearing. Um, so you may get getting memories from your past lives and things like that. Or you may be actually remembering who you are from past life and then tapping into that wisdom, tapping into those parts of you that maybe you have felt like you haven't retapped really into yet in this lifetime, which is beautiful. I'm seeing some of you guys might be getting a dog. 
as well as what I'm seeing. Okay, so you guys got the base chakra independence and you also got the solar plexus inner harmony. I actually read this as memory, but we also have memory here, which is so good. It's the forget me not flower. I love that, so cute. Or is that the forget me not? Uh, no, I think it's the flower. That is, yeah, flower. Okay, so these are affirmations. So if you guys wanna use these in your life, then please do. I really love the affirmations on these cards. They're really good. So it says, I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them, knowing that I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in my life. Um, I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. So I'm not going to read all of this. It's quite a lot, but I'm going to read a couple. It says, I trust my innate wisdom and respond accordingly. I do not allow my mind to change to doubt or to override my strong gut feelings. I express, I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. So the base chakra is all about your manifesting physically. It's about your safety. It's about how you feel strong and grounded. And also the solar plexus is to do with your inner wisdom. It's to do with your inner harmony. It's your confidence. It's your, it's kind of where the anxiety can rise up. So basically if you're feeling a little bit lacking in creativity, sometimes it can be that it's channeled through other ways. And maybe if you feel the need to be creative then do that um, in your own kind of energy, whatever feels good for you is essentially what I'm saying. Okay. But I do feel like a very calm energy from this group. I feel like things are just manifesting as they come. So for you guys, it might not be the, the timing that you think, but it is coming. Okay. So group number four. All right. Wow. This is, I think this is the third time we've had the North node. So that's amazing. Oh my God. And this is the third time I've had Leo. A lot of you guys are working with the Leo energy. So we have the North Node, we have Third House, and we have Leo. So Leo is a very driven sign. It's very much like, I'm not gonna give up. It can be a little bit forceful being a fixed sign. It can be a bit like pushing. Um, so make sure for you guys, if you need to communicate with somebody, try and do it in the most gentle way. And obviously if people aren't gonna listen, then maybe it's best to step back, but making sure you're not overexerting yourself and you, you aren't pushing your energy too far where you are being neglected, being rejected, and kind of, you know, being pushed to the side because you are as important as anyone else. The third house is all about creativity. It is literally about the creative energy, so I love that. It's all about speaking your truth. It's the mind, it's social interests, it's like social activities, it's siblings and things like that, communication. So the Mercury retrograde and maybe the next Mercury retrograde may affect this situation as well. But it's also showing me that being the North Node in Leo, it's very much about your expression. How are you expressing your creativity? How are you allowing people to see you and get noticed and allowing yourself to be free and be open and really just letting yourself be free and not pushing yourself or judging yourself. And also just, if you are, if you do feel different, different, I mean, we all are unique in different ways. So allowing yourself to just open up to that and knowing that everything is okay and just, yeah, just allow this newness to come in. I feel like it's really, really beautiful. I mean, the Leo energy is all about, I mean, the Leo energy is the fifth house. It rules the fifth house. So with the fifth house, it's about romance, it's about love. It's about childlike energy. So allowing yourself to um, breathe into that and allowing that to come through. So this card did not come out for number three. It actually was hanging out in number three, but it didn't want to come out. So it's funny how it came in group number four. So that's really good. So some of you guys, you could be connecting with others more. You could be deepening a relationship, but you could be also, if you like somebody, you know somebody and you think they're a good egg, it could be that they make you really happy and you start a relationship with them. Also, it could be that you're understanding your needs and you're manifesting a better relationship with yourself. I am seeing a new relationship coming in for you guys who are single, manifesting something new, which you've wanting for a very long time. Could be just a new connection, maybe it's some soul tribal energy, so like some new friends. It could also just be, yeah, definitely, this is all about a soul tribe. Um, I do feel like some of you guys, you can be manifesting like two friends. You could be manifesting an Aries as well. The Emperor have really big Aries energy. You could be manifesting somebody through your, through your friendship group, through work, through a colleague, um, but also you're learning to be discerning around work and understand what your needs are and being heard and listened to. And I do feel like I'm hearing the word proud. So I do feel like you're very proud of yourself, but also be proud of yourself, be proud of your progress and how far you've come and know that you should be proud. And there's nothing vain about that at all. It's literally just allowing yourself to be in that energy. 
and also just to know that you are a leader I think some of you guys are really leadery energies I do feel like you could be meeting a leader I do feel like also this is showing me that kind of like you're single some of you guys who are single so this is a single message so if you're not single just you know keep watching basically for those of you who are single it's kind of like I'm waiting for my life to kind of move forward in a relationship maybe you are single and I don't feel like this for some of you guys this is a message for those of you who don't know who, know who your person is you're learning to recognize your masculine your feminine energies your needs uh, your boundaries yes and no and I feel like learn to say yes and no and also this then starts a brand new cycle you then manifest your soul tribe but also you manifest more people more relationships that are long term that really work with your energy and also then you manifest a partner who is driven, who is most likely an Aries or a fire sign or possibly an earth sign, being a Taurus as well. Somebody who's driven and somebody who couldn't be your boss. They could be somebody who just helps you in work, but also they're very mature. They're extremely mature. So if you're manifesting or um, kind of in some sort of immature relationship, this is not that. It feels some, like something very new. I do feel like somebody's just coming in, they feel really good, like a really nice masculine energy. Obviously, if you're not wanting masculine energy, just switch the, ro the roles around. Essentially, you are, you are going to be attracted to this person. So who, who you're ever attracted to, whoever, whatever gender you're attracted to, whoever you're attracted to, this will be that person, I'm feeling. And that's for, that's for some of you, not all of you. But if you feel like you're in a really good space and you're really embracing yourself and letting yourself be, then this is definitely going to come in for you very soon by the end of 2020, I'm feeling. Most likely in October, in the rest of this month. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal shop, that is down below as well. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.